I'm Heather Maris. And I'm Cassie Carey. And we're just going to do a quick wrap up of our book club that we had this evening. Um, and today we were talking about a tr an absolutely remarkable thing by, by Hank Green. Green. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So for the sci-fi lovers out there, this book was actually really fun to read um, because it took you into that dimension of like Ready Player One. And so if you like that sci-fi totally. type of a drama, this would have been a fun book for you to read. Mm -hmm. I, I really liked her voice throughout the whole book. I liked her, her feeling of the interactiveness and you felt like you were a part of the action, a part of the story as you read the book. I really, that, I, that was my part of it that I really felt like I was drawn into the book when I read it. Yeah. So, and I love the plot because you could, you could really think about this plot and we've all decided, and I think one of our friends even said this will be made into a movie. It would mm -hmm. be a, a really cute It'd be movie. A fun movie. Um, but it really kind of brings you into the global consciousness of solving a problem, um, surpassing boundaries, also um, the, the world of becoming famous immediately. So in our today's world of social media, and things that go viral very quickly, mm -hmm. how that affects you as a person and how that can throw you into a whole new dimension um, and how to interact with people. So I, I totally, I enjoyed it. I liked, I liked the, the, the fact that she was really having to interact with that, the whole idea of how to become famous and, and what to do when you're famous and what, what you shouldn't do and how to interact in that sort of situation. It was really, it was intriguing to me in that sense because I'm not famous and it was nice to put myself into that position of what does it feel like and and really feel like that that part of the the whole when you when you're looking at that sort of situation yeah i really enjoyed our topics too because then we started talking about social media and all the things and how things take off mm -hmm. and how there's different representations of different people within social media we had some great side conversations on that and and what it means and what it means for our youth and our kids that are growing up in a in a world that's full of social media and there's cameras there's eyes on us at all times and it's not something that we had when we were growing up mm -hmm. and so it's a lot different today than it, than it was when we and, were and we, we talked were up. specifically about the black mirror series mm -hmm. and about what that looked like in terms of how, how people perceive you in terms of social media and what that looks like and how do you what does that mean about how you like represent yourself in mm -hmm. social media and what does that mean in terms of how you represent yourself is it true to self yeah. or is it become a sort of a fake kind of situation um, depending on what you want to portray into the public yeah mm -hmm. so this spurred a lot of really great conversations yeah. mm -hmm. um, for those of us that have children in high school, that have children in the social media realm, um, it did spur a lot of really good conversations around that. Um, and, and even into the point where how we compare ourselves to other people based off of social media mm -hmm. and how that affects our society and our youth. Um, some of the things you'll hear in the media today, um, some of the tragedies that you hear, but yeah, also definitely. how, you know, how that's all related back. So this book actually, as a, as a fiction novel, which I, I really like kind of the business and more self-help books, but as a fiction novel, this really did bring up a lot of great um, topics and a lot of great conversations okay. around that. So I enjoyed it. Um, I think the author did a really good job of just portraying the situation, the characters in a way. And again, we're sci-fi fans mm -hmm. as a, along with that. So when it came into the abstract world of solving problems, some of the things that they had to do to solve to solve some of the puzzles were different languages, different skill sets. So really, it was like a global effort. Um, it did a lot of talk about the news, the social media, the fake news, the nemesis. The I think that was a big part of it too. Was yeah. really looking at that that person who she was having to to fight against in terms yeah. of trying to build that fear in in everyone around them. That you know this is this is anti what you believe and so building that fear and how do you fight whenever social media has that ability to build the fear behind you and so it's it was really kind of very timely in terms yeah. of what's going on here lately so it was, oh yeah it was an interesting was. read for sure it really tied into a lot of other books i've been reading personally lately too just talking about diversity and bringing different people from different educational backgrounds different expertise mm -hmm 
different um, cultures, bringing them all together to solve a common problem. Mm -hmm. And I really exactly. like that at yeah. the end of the day is bringing a bunch of different people from all different walks of life together to solve one common problem. And that was awesome common, at the end of the book because they were having to like put all the gold pieces together mm -hmm. on, yep. the, on the things that everybody had to figure out a way to make it happen so that the, the end result happened. Yep. And so it was, it was, it was really interesting in terms of how humanity can come together and that idea of, mm -hmm. of the ability of us all to work together. Yeah. So we recommend the book. Hopefully you read okay. it because this is our this is our book club wrap up of that book. Um, <laughs> a couple people came and said, "Oh, we didn't quite get to the end of it." Um, we so we <laughs> we did talk about you know the plot and how it ended. Just to let you know, um, it will probably be a movie, and I think it will be a, a fun little flick if it is, if it is a movie. So, I could definitely see at least another sequel to the book. The way it ended, I think yeah. there will be at least another sequel in the books but I think a movie is warranted because yeah. it's very action-packed and exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I totally agree. So along the lines of the book um, we did select the next book for next month um, and then we did share a few little tips and tricks um, beauty tips. I know you had one with um, one. your bracelet so go ahead and share. So my husband went to Vegas this past weekend and he brought me back these Alex and Annie bracelets. I don't know if you guys are into copper bracelets, but with the copper bracelets, these are Alex and Annie bracelets and they're personalized. And so they have a lot of like little cool messages and things that are, that are nice um, to, to, to kind of mix in there. Mine says that he brought home with me. It was very sweet. It says there will always be room for your hand in mine. And it Aww, was super sweet, sweet. Um, for in terms of like um, as, as a mom and looking at like kind of like yeah. just our family kind of dynamic. So he brought me two home two two bracelets home and they kind of mix the silver and the copper look together. But they have that copper kind of um, in terms of your medicinal joints and type medicinal of, yeah. kind of thing. So if you're looking into that. Um, I think these Alex that's Sandy funny. bracelets are fantastic. I like that. I, that's I like so it. cool. I like it a lot better yeah. than those old, you know, the copper bracelets. Yeah. That, that was kind of a trend for a while. Yeah. A lot of people were wearing them. So yeah, so this is like a, a great alternative. alternative. A nicer that's, way to it. So yeah. that's, that's kind of sweet. I like that. I, like this. I do cool. too. I do too. And then we had another friend share with us. So this was a topic. I just got back um, from a tech conference, of course, <laughs> and talking about technology and new trends in technology, it was all about passwords and how mm. they are going to kind of move away from passwords with a lot of biometrics. You know, right now your phone, you just look at it, right? 5% yeah. um, of people don't fit into the metrics to have that face recognition, right. which I didn't wow. realize. And then um, just getting away from that, I, a lot of people use the thumbprint, uh, the face biometrics, but moving into a more secured world of identity. And while we talked about that, someone mentioned a password app. Mm -hmm. So if you're like some IT people I know, we write down passwords <laughs> on a piece of paper. We would be like the, the, the worst IT people ever. So the IT security team at my company would have a heyday with me right now because I'm horrible. I write them down on little random pieces of paper or my phone or on my bulletin board and I'm not going to tell you exactly. But anyways, I'm terrible with my password. So Somebody gave us some really great advice on an app called LastPass. I believe it's called LastPass. And it's an app and it scrambles different apps together, but then it saves them for you. So it'll create passwords on all of your devices, all of your accounts, and it creates really random, crazy passwords, and then it saves them for you in this in this app. This app. Okay. So yeah, so nice. I'm super excited. I downloaded it already and I haven't started applying it yet, but starting tomorrow, I'm going to clean up my security, security and make sure <laughs> that um, my life is much more secure than it has been because I, I, I haven't been in, some of that as too. somebody in tech. Um, it's pretty sad that I, I have not been more secure with my own personal passwords mm -hmm. as I should because so there are programs out there that people are using in the dark web and in different nefarious groups, right? They will actually scrape data. So the passwords you use in those systems that you don't really worry about, those systems that you use the same password because you're, who cares if they have that information, right? 
you use that same password for probably four or five different random or things that you or more. <laughs> so different I, variations of yeah, it. Yeah. So what they do is they scrape those passwords and then they put them in every application out there. And with that and just a little bit of your personal information, when a breach happens, they get your passwords, they get your information, possibly your birthday, your address, whatever. They are doing algorithm against that and there will be a percentage that they actually can hack into. And so password protection is a, is a really big deal. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a lot of new technology coming out in the future. We'll hear machine learning and AI and all this other Robotics. stuff. But right now, if you do have an application that can help keep you organized around your passwords, it's a very mm -hmm. fundamental thing. Any IT security people will probably fall out of their chair if they hear that we're just now talking about this. But it is a really great way to make sure that your passwords are protected and that they're safe. Right. Yeah. So that was one of the things we wanted to share, one of the top, many topics that came up tonight while we were talking. Um, and the next thing we want to talk about is the next book. So mm -hmm. we will probably not have our next meeting until January with the holidays, with Thanksgiving and Christmas Travel. coming up. A lot mm -hmm. of people are traveling. Parties. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff coming up. So our next book that we're going to read, so what did you decide? I think it's called Nine Perfect Strangers by, I think her name is Leanne, I don't know how to, more, more variety, I'm sorry. <laughs> she wrote uh, The Big Little Lies as well. So she has a number of books out, but that's her most recent book. It just came out. I've got to check and make sure that it's actually out on the shelf so that we can purchase it and start reading it, but I'm pretty sure I got a notification just this week that is out. So it's called Nine Perfect Strangers. It nice. just came out, just hit the shelves. Should be a fun read, especially through like the holidays. A, is it a, what type of book is it? It's a fiction. fiction. Fiction, fun. Action. I would say action slash a little mystery, mystery? drama, mystery? drama okay. maybe some romance. Oh, I think she right. tends to do a, a mix of all of it. I like so, it. I like and it. Her past books have been really incredible. Um, I don't know if anybody has read the book. Big Little Lies was great. They also made the movie series or the HBO series yeah. with... Nicole Kidman and Reese Witherspoon yes, and it was a great that. series. Yeah. The book was wonderful. I read the book way before the series came out, so I'm really excited to, to yes. read her new book. So I think it'll be fun, especially through the holidays. We all need to have a little fun and um, it's a great way to close out my night at the end of the night when I'm trying to wrap presents or in and in the cook morning and if you wake up super early. It could be a, it could be a new morning <laughs> habit a too. Morning to do, habit. Have your hey, daily, your daily meditation and do some reading, Say some it. fun <laughs> me time. So whenever we can find that me time, I think this will be a good book because it'll give us like, we'll have two months to spend reading yeah, it absolutely. and it'll be a fun, easy book to read. Excellent. Awesome. So that will be our next book for book club. Um, we will have a reading list too, for those that want to read um, any books that are more like self-help business related. We do have the five second rule by Mel Robbins. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm really liking. That is an excellent it. book. It sounds really good. I mean, Myth of a Nice really Girl good. is an excellent book by Fran. Fran Hauser. Fran Hauser wrote that book. Great book. We went through that. And then a, a new one that we, I saw Bryn Brown at the Global Leadership Summit. She's an excellent speaker. She's written several books. This is one called Dare to Lead. Yeah. This is probably the next one I'll be reading as well. So there's a lot of good um, information and a lot of good books. So we hope you enjoy yeah. reading we always encourage reading join us for our next uh book club or roundup if that's the case january i think we're gonna do it we have another uh somebody volunteer to host next month so i think well, we, i don't announce it here but i think we're gonna have a new host for next month or not next month but january we're gonna yeah. skip december but january i think we've we've got a new place um, and we're excited about Houston, that. Might be in Houston, might be in Siena. We'll see. <laughs> we'll you never see. Know. So, thank you so much for following along. You guys have a great night. We'll talk to you All soon. Right. Thanks. Bye, girl. Bye, bye. girl. Bye. No. Super real. Because we didn't talk about a lot I'm of the social media stuff. I'm so tired. Let's I'm go to bed. Tired. Too late. I went from Chicago to Houston oh today. I've been working all day. I'm tired. <laughs> you went Chicago to Houston today? She did. I did. Uh, <laughs>
she got off a plane i'm like texting her are you are you have you landed yet it's like three o'clock are you coming are we doing this <laughs> Yes, I will be there. It's on my to-do list. Well, I told Tim's like, you try and do too many things. Like, you've been in back-to-back -back meetings. You're back-to-back -back meetings all next week. And we're getting on a plane on Friday and going to California See, for a week. See, and that's why I don't know how you're able to do all this shit. That's what we do. Shit. Like, what I said, well, Tani is in sh just flew, just got on, so this is it. I'm like, Tani just got on a plane and she's flying back and she's like landing like three hours before like book club <laughs> from Chicago okay. and my, I was like y'all are fucking so <laughs> fucking crazy so here's, here's my app my, my splice app 